one play at a time. Strategy number one, let's get into the, the nuts and bolts. This is my most favorite love and logic strategy, is the strategy of empathy. Several of you said you wanted your child to feel loved. Wanted your child to feel loved. Well, of course we want them to feel loved. We love them so, so much. Empathy, true, authentic empathy is the quickest way to neutralize a child's misbehavior. And let's look at how it looks. Let's say um, your child wants some candy. It's that season, right? Raise your hand if you have some candy at your house right now. Are you getting asked a whole lot? Mommy, can I have Laffy Taffy now? Mommy, how many pieces can I have? Mommy, can I have, this one's really small. Can I have two? You're getting this a lot. <laughs> and you lead in with the empathy. And an empathetic statement would look something like, I know you want Reese's Pieces. I know you want Reese's Pieces. They're mommy's favorite too. And we'll have some after dinner. Okay, it truly empathizes. Let's say someone hits someone else you know, brothers and sisters, and the one that got hit runs to you, and mommy, mommy, he hit me, he hit me, rather than go work it out, have you ever said that? <laughs> go work it out. You stop, and you say, oh, that's a bummer. I, it doesn't feel good to get hit by someone that's supposed to love you, and someone that's supposed to treat you well. What are you going to do about it? We'll talk about that second part. But the empathetic statement, that true empathetic statement, the one we use at our house a lot is hunger. We come home, my, kid, my family and I, kids and I, we get home anywhere between five and six on a given weeknight, and they usually have played after school for a couple hours. They're starving. So do you get this? Can I have chips? Can I have nuts? While you're trying to put together dinner, and they're wanting to eat at every graze, all, you know, the entire pantry. So the, the, the empathetic, I know you're hungry. I'm starving too, and dinner will be ready in 10 minutes. I know you're hungry. I haven't eaten since 11 either. Dinner will be ready in 10 minutes, and you're just a broken record to them. But it's true empathy. It's true empathy. It's not sarcasm. I bet you're hungry. You didn't eat enough lunch. Oh. Have you heard? Maybe out of your own mouth. Or is it, that's that sarcasm. I bet you are. I bet you're tired. That's not what it is. It is this, I know you're sleepy. I stayed up late last night reading too, and I get really sleepy the next day. But you know what? Church starts in 10 minutes. True, I do empathize. We've, we've been there. Um, the broken record technique, again, over and over and over. My daughter did it last night. We have, we have $3 pizza night on Friday nights now at my house every Friday night. And we get home last night. They're starved. She wants pistachios. She wants pistachios. She wants pistachios. Our rule is we eat vegetables before we eat our pizza. And I knew the pistachios was just a placeholder for her until I could get the vegetables ready. And I said, I know you want pistachios. They're salty. They're awesome. They're my favorite. We're having carrots in about four minutes. <laughs> Give me four minutes to get the carrots and the pears ready. And off she went. It only happened, it only took me one time because they've heard me say the broken record over and over and over before that they know the minute they hear it put into those phrases and clauses, <laughs> game over and they walk away. And it's loving, it's not sarcastic. It's not, pistachios are junk. You've had so much salt today. You had a birthday party, you had a pizza party. We're about to have pizza again. You don't need any more salt. You see how, again, just nagging, I'm ramping it up and they're making a judgment about me and about themselves while I'm doing that. So the broken record technique works beautifully.